Hey Leo, welcome back. And to any new viewers, welcome. I am Simone the Moon Goddess. So this is your June reading. Let's see what are the general energies and the general themes for you for this new month. I hope that you're well. And I hope that you all are taking care of yourselves, resting when necessary, um, revitalizing yourself, healing. There's a lot happening. There's a lot of energy cosmically. We are in retrograde season, eclipse season, all sorts going down. Please take care of your all selves, okay, Leo? I want to say a big thank you for all of your love and your support, especially those beautiful comments that I received in my last video. I appreciate you all so much. Um, I'm so grateful. To those who've donated to the channel, who've booked readings with me, um, so much love to you. Uh, let's jump in. <laughs> let's jump in. Where are the themes for Leo? This would be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs. All right. Where are the themes for Leo in June, June 2020? Thank you. Wow. Your card is the observer or observer rather. So you're being asked to watch, observe. There's potentially not taking action. All right, you got by the book here at the bottom of the deck. So there might be something in June where you need to follow how things have been done before. All right, it's kind of a, a message of work smart, not hard. I don't know if some of you might be thinking way too hard about a project or a relationship or taking a step towards something. You're being guided to follow what people have done in the past. All right. This is with purpose. These structures have been set up with purpose. So maybe this is about study. I don't know how this resonates. Drop a comment and let me know if it resonates. Um, it either does or it doesn't. And if this doesn't, it's not your message this time around. Remember this. All right. So you have the observer here or observer rather. You're being asked to watch, wait, potentially not take action. Now, this makes so much sense because like I said, we are in retrograde season eclipse season which is very much about being held back feeling as if we're being held back right quote unquote held back but this is the time for us to heal on a deeper level so we're being called within so everything feels as if it's sluggish and slow down and walking in molasses during winter but with purpose so stop trying to fight against the tide and go with it all right let's get into some some tarot it clear please spirit guys where are the messages you want me to share with leo for the month of june 2020 all right wow how is that possible so i just did gemini's reading the first card that these are practically the same cards the first card that came out for you this also came out for gemini the hierophant is here you have the chariot came out next and that was Gemini's final card. So that's really interesting. You have the Magician. And this was at the bottom of the deck for Gemini's final card. And you have the Ace of Cups. And if you saw the way how it did a dance and came out reverse. And it came out reverse with Gemini as well. So that's nuts. Ace of Cups reversed. You got the King of Wands. And this also came out for Gemini. You got the King of Swords here. Are you and Gemini in connections, Leo? Because the King of Wands, this could be you. The King of Swords could be Gemini. Top of the deck is the Sun. Wow. So when your ruler shows up in your reading, you know that it's real, right? I love it. <laughs> and you have the Nine of Pentacles here or Nine of Coins. All right, so... Y'all hold a lot of power in June. Please utilize it. Whatever you are inspired by is with purpose. So feel confident, all right? There's also a need for y'all to take rest. Now, I feel as if this is going to be an ongoing theme for these readings in June. There is a need for rest. 
there is so much happening cosmically let's not even think about it from a physical standpoint because what you're seeing physically is what's happening spiritually and cosmically right as above so below macro and micro so there's a need for all of us to have rest in june okay you might be feeling drained and also you're being asked to pour out your cup and when i say that i mean whether it's crying, whether it's releasing in however way, cleaning, clutter, emotional cleansing, even detoxing. This could be even detoxing with your Ace of Cups reverse. But there's a need, you're being, your cup is being turned over in order to be filled with something clean and pure and healthy and healing. All right, with the sun here, I'm, I'm telling you, you have the sun and the nine of pentacles, which for me is a sense of, this is new life. This is y'all feeling like y'all selves as well. There's a sense of you building and, and receiving. This is the harvest. And I feel, again, this is a sense of you feeling like you're in your own dominion. And there's a sense of confidence. Maybe your business is starting to pick up for some of you. Maybe you've met somebody. Maybe some of you are feeling more confident by, with being single. Because the Nine of Pentacles can be a very single type of energy. You have the Hierophant and the Chariot. Ask and ye shall receive. Every time I see this Hierophant, it makes me think of that. It's like connecting to the above. All right. There's also a sense of making things official, getting, feeding your spiritual self. And change will come, right? But when this change comes, you have to feel empowered by it. Because oftentimes you call in change and then you start to like run away from the prospect of change. How does change happen if things don't change? So it's about surrendering. And like I said with this King of Wands, y'all feel very much like y'all selves. There's a real power here. There's a power here. It's literally like y'all prayed for something. The change came and then you stepped into your power. Like, I have the power he-man type of shit <laughs> that's what i'm getting with this also tap into your inner child maybe there's some healing to be done with your inner child i feel like your truth is your inner child your inner child is your truth before it became jaded before you became jaded by life and experiences and and you know traumas and all this kind of thing I feel as if in June, there's an opportunity for you to feel lighthearted. Even when things are falling away and walls seem to be crashing down, there's still opportunities for happiness. There's still opportunities for, for lightness. It must be balanced. All right? Let's see why your ace of... Look, the chariot is here. Let's see why your ace of cups is reversed. And also, what, okay, so I'm seeing why your Ace of Cups is reversed because you asked for change, the change happened or it's happening. There's a transformation coming, right? Some of you might be moving, literally moving house. It might come really quickly. It might take you off guard, actually. A lot of these changes might come in so quickly that your head might be spinning. Maybe that's why your Ace of Cups is reversed here as well. But you're, you've asked for something, the change will be, will come into play or is happening as we speak or as I speak and then you're being inspired to use that energy to direct it how you want you've asked for this so now you're empowered to take that step and in doing so it means that you have to pour out a cup because you are in a position now to gain new energies coming in right <laughs> you got the fool at the bottom of the deck it's amazing Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Two cards. Wow. The Lovers Reverse and the King of Cups Reverse. The King of Cups showed up for Gemini's um, reading as well. The Lovers Reverse and the King of Cups Reverse. So this is why you might be feeling a little bit drained or upset. Some of you might be like crying lots, feeling quite heavy. Because there's a breakup happening here. But I feel as if you've taken that choice. You've taken that step to do so. 
it's knight of cups not king of cups my i'm sorry it's actually knight of cups reversed so when it okay wow so y'all were dealing with somebody who you realize was actually not truthful not truthful maybe in observing that's how you were able to see the truth about this person full of sweet talk but no substance behind it you know could be a bit of a con person a con man for some of you somebody conned you maybe somebody acted as if they were interested in you romantically but they were actually after your money or your assets in some way or even it might not be romantically but somebody who appeared to want to support you or your business or your life in some way but it was just talk there was no action behind it oh my gosh bless you wow i left you with a burden or left you feeling like cynical about things could be a, a leo an aries or sagittarius energy here tell me about this king of wands or you as the king of wands took or taking the power taking your power back three of cups so yeah, I feel as if it's you taking your power back and that's what's going to lead to the celebration. You also being able to determine who's actually supporting you and who's not. And also notice that he's pointing at the three of cups. So this could be you realizing that this is somebody in your inner circle who's actually draining you and who's actually not real. It's almost as if he's pointing, saying, like, pay attention. Pay attention to those who are around you. Pay attention to who you sit with, eat with, drink with, party with, socialize with. Build businesses with, however it resonates. There's bounty here for you, but don't let people drain you. There's some kind of, yeah, don't let people drain you. You got the emperor here um y'all taking there's a there's a sense in june of y'all seeing truth and with that truth it makes it there's a holding happening you know there you feel whole i don't know if before you've been filled quite scattered or pulled apart or pulled in different directions but in june whatever truth is coming is going to bring that sense of holding All right, let's see what's your word of advice. Just saw the Knight of Pentacles again. So there's this real sense of y'all stepping into your all's, um, I don't know if some of you might have been feeling abandoned or feeling quite alone, lonely feeling disempowered by being in your own by being single for some of you but there's a sense of that changing and y'all realizing hang on i'm actually okay <laughs> the empress i am actually okay what's the word of advice for leo in june spirit guys make it clear please what's the word of advice thank you princess of cups is here so this could be a message about love a, a, a healing energy there's a wisdom here as well y'all really need to connect I hear connect to the moon connect to the lunar energies while the ace of swords at the bottom right now so that's the truth what's the word of advice what else for this princess of cups what about the princess of cups the high priestess Is that upright, reverse? What is that? So truth coming coming in June, when you observe, you sit back and you watch. There's a whole lot to learn from just watching. You don't have to speak up or say anything. All right, you have the princes of cups. So like I said, a message coming through, a message of truth, the high priestess. You're going to see the truth about something in June here. You're being asked to trust your intuition, to see beyond what you're being shown. Observe beyond what you are seeing with your two eyes all right there's um 
the tower it came out kind of on the side not quite upright not reversed so there's a change happening and remember i said to you with the chariot whatever change is coming in in june might come quite unexpectedly or quite swiftly for some of you might be literally moving and you've been like looking for the perfect place or working towards moving for a long time and then all of a sudden in june something changes and then you're out now that's very much eclipse energy right eclipses come in and they take you from one point to the next really quickly so that's why i'm seeing there's some kind of falling away here right tower moment whatever is happening it might not be you might be envisioning it to be doom and gloom when it's actually rebirthing right or restructuring and some of you might be fearing change calling in change but fearing it at the same time that can't work those two energies are clashing so if you want change you have to trust that whatever changes come are supporting the change that you want to happen does that make sense right it's not as bad as you think y'all seeing clearly right also with the princess of cups it might be that in june messages come through dreams or in a really strange supernatural type of way there's a lot of water energy here there's a lot of spirit energy spirit working here for you i'm telling you truth coming all right what's the final outcome thank you thank you you got the hierophant twice twice leo twice grounding grounding spiritual work connecting to nature making something official for some of you there's some making something official here as well you got the ten of swords oh i love it i love it something's been put to an end here and it's going to free you and make you feel it's going to make you feel quite light and buoyant all right trust was happening trust was falling away the nine of pentacles i'm telling you it says gain on it so it's like you're in freeing yourself from whatever has been bogging you down it's allowing your harvest to come in it's opening up a way for the beautiful energies to flow in for you give me one more card for final outcome thank you haha <laughs> justice justice balance this showed up for gemini as well mind you so leo are you all dealing with a gemini in some way justice will be served balance is here harmony the hanged man showed up for Gemini. Y'all's cards are real similar. I'm just saying. And you connect into your spirituality. You put an end to something. All right. Whatever has been draining you for however long, it's time to get up. All right. It's time. It's time to, to balance that. It's interesting too that you have two major cards with the Ten of Swords down the middle. All right, Libra is here. There's Libra energy. There's Taurus energy here. No more illusions, right? There's no more, and also whatever sweet talk, like somebody might be using the words on you to try to manipulate you in some way. Like, no, we're cutting that. How does your heart feel, my loves? right if it feels heavy that's a quote that's a that's an indicator that something's not aligned with your truth all right let's get into some oracles i'll start with love because yeah we all want to know about love so let's see overall energies for love in june i will be doing readings again all throughout june so look out for that um let's see one card for, for leo when it comes to love thank you so it says keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations all right observer remember observer was your first card um at the bottom it says worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life so trust the process Pray, ask, and you shall receive. 
every time I see the Hierophant, that's what I see. There's also children. There's a potential for children here as well. Your Sun card. Or maybe it's you observing children because there's so much to learn from children. So maybe you, some of you are observing your children and learning from them. A Taurus child. A Cancer or Cancer child. Taurus. Could be a Virgo. All right, so your card says bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. All right, so whatever you are experiencing, keep an open mind and bring love into the situation. Very interesting. Um, whatever you might be experiencing, move from compassion, especially for yourself. Bring love for yourself and bring love. Look at the bigger picture and bring love into the situation. Remember I said to you, how does your heart feel? If it feels heavy, that's a great indicator that you might be out of alignment. A fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Aries is here. So that makes so much sense because like I said, eclipse season, retrograde season. Your tower, the tower came out for you. So you know that something's coming. You know some changes are coming because I mean, look at this chariot. You know that something is about to happen, right? But you can't fear. You can't. You can be in fear. Observe. All right. Observe. What's the messages for Leo in June, Spirit Guides? What's the messages for Leo in June? What's the message for... Thank you. Oh, my gosh. You know what? So when I was shuffling and i cut the deck in half the first time i saw downtime and i thought to myself i was going to say to you i'm seeing downtime here you're being asked to kind of pull back your energies and just observe look at what came out for you leo how <laughs> card number three downtime so get off the hamster wheel notice the sun in the corner here top top um corner got the sun there's a clock so it's like know that work will always be there know that all the chores and all the things that you need to do your massive to-do list all of that will be there but when outside is beautiful and the sun is calling you and you can feel that you need to go outside and get your top up of sunshine and connect reconnect to self take that time everything on your list will still be there but when you take that time to connect, that makes everything flow so much easier, right? Feed your inner child. That's how you gain energies again. Notice the E and the F. Like fill up your gas tank with downtime. Let's see what's at the bottom. Fake it till you make it. Right? So even though you might be feeling like, oh my God, what is all of this happening? I don't know. I feel a little bit like nervous. Da, 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 da. Fake your confidence. <laughs> your subconscious mind does not know the difference. Make, you know, your subconscious mind will believe whatever you feed it with. Can I have one money card for Leo? Thank you. All right, your card is, I can't tell stories of shortage and experience abundance. Right? And your abundance is here. But if you keep telling yourself, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. I have lack. That's what the universe will feed you. I can't tell stories of shortage and experience abundance. So it says continu continu continuing to tell stories of shortage only continues to contradict your desire for abundance. And you cannot have it both ways. 
You cannot focus upon unwanted and receive wanted. You cannot focus upon stories about money that makes you feel uncomfortable and allow into your experience what makes you feel comfortable. A different story will bring different results. My thoughts are the basis for the attraction of all things that I consider to be good, which includes enough money and health for my comfort and joy. All right. So be mindful of the stories that you're telling yourself. All right, my loves, that is your reading for June. Drop a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Like the video. Share it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thank you so much for your love and your support. Details are down below for how to book with me, um, my podcast, my um, my tarot wish list, how to donate. People have asked how to donate. All of those details are down below. Um, check it out. Thank you for watching my video. Much love to you until my next message. Laters.